Hello and welcome to today's Employer on the Go tutorial. Today, we will be discussing how to access and manipulate your payroll detail report, which is a common payroll report that offers payroll details as broken down by employee. First, let's run a payroll detail report for all employees in our company. We'll start by choosing the report wizard, and in the first menu, we'll select payroll as our type and payroll register as our category and hit next. The second window we're brought to is the divisions within our company. Since we will be running our first report for all employees, we will leave all divisions selected. Our next window shows us our company's different locations. Again, since this first report is run for the whole company, we will leave all of them selected and hit next. The next window shows all of our company's departments, which of course will remain selected as well. The next window shows us a list of applicable employees based on the criteria we have already selected. We can select or deselect all of these employees at any time by clicking the Select All option in the bottom left corner. Finally, we're able to choose a date range for our report. For our first report here, we will select the year 2019. Though we have an option to separate these reports by a specific date range, by a specific month, a particular quarter, or any year we choose. The report we will be running today is the Payroll Detail Large Font Preview. We run this version rather than the original because the larger font is much more legible and easier to view. As always, we'll view this report as a PDF file and click Run. And we are presented with a payroll detail report showing payment and withholding information for each of our employees with company totals presented at the very bottom. Next, let's try running another payroll detail report with a few exclusions. We'll back out to the main menu and again select Report Wizard. Our type and category choices should remain the same from the last time, so we'll leave them as Payroll and Payroll Register. On this report, we will view only the main division and exclude sales. We will again leave all locations, departments, and employees selected. This time, we will also specify that we would like to view July of 2019 rather than the full year. We will again run the Payroll Detail Large Font Preview rather than the original, view it as a PDF, and hit Run. And we are given a payroll detail that includes our specific range of criteria. Now let's run one more report with a variety of different changes. At the main menu, we'll select Report Wizard again and keep our type and category. We will again run a report for only our main division, but this time we will isolate our Pottstown location. We only have a single department available, so we will click Next. And maybe this time we don't want to view every single employee's details. We can deselect all options. And by holding control on your keyboard, you can select whichever specific employees whose information you would like to view at the moment. Hit next. And for our final report, we will view the fourth quarter of 2019.
Running one final payroll detail with a large font. Viewed as a PDF so that it can be saved. And run the report. And we're given a much shorter, more specified payroll detail report for only the employees that we wish to see. Hopefully, after viewing this video, you now know the ins and outs of the payroll detail report and can manipulate one to show specific information. If you encounter trouble accessing any of the features seen here or have additional concerns, please send an email to our operations department with any questions you may have. Thank you very much.